Hi everybody, this is Chris Flatner at V-Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the Dynamics GP integration to Starship 12. And you still have the ability to call up your transaction by the document ID from sales order processing. You can scan or enter that in here on the field on the left hand side of the screen. You also have a lookup that you can do on the table. And this gives you the ability to sort by any of the address fields or the different types of documents to narrow down your view. We'll go ahead and put in our first transaction. So Starship will call out to the GP SQL database and bring up all of the detail on the Starship screen. You now have this control panel on the left-hand side where it will show the GP order that you're connected to and the company database. You also have the transportation information with the ship method, either from the order header or from the line item level. You can also pull the preference on the billing and the account number from the customer card or from the order. And then if available, we'll have the transit time available here. Sender information can be mapped as well. So if you have different dropship uh, accounts that you need to reflect on the manifest and label, that can be mapped as well. And the ship to address can be pulled from the order header or the item level. We'll also validate that address on the way in. So we'll check the city, state, and zip. You can add the zip plus four for the standardized postal formatting, street address, suite number, and whether or not it's a residential, commercial, or rural area to apply the standard surcharges as necessary. With the GP integration, you also have the ability to bring over line item detail now. So you can bring over your parts and the quantities directly from the GP order or invoice. This enables you to do a packing list. So we can bring the items into a single box here, or I can add a box, and I can pack up my goods and put them into individual containers. And this allows you to do a packing list either on a thermal label that you can put on the outside of the box or a piece of paper that you can put inside the box. You can also use the shipping assistant. If I click on the magic wand here, this enables me to consolidate multiple orders. So I can see I've scanned in my order 100, but we can see in the database there's multiple orders and invoices here that could also be consolidated and shipped together. Once I've packed up my goods, if I'm ready to process, I simply click on Ship and Process. This will produce my label, move the transaction onto the manifest, at which point we'll write back the detail into GP. Here you have a preview of the shipping label. You can do both thermal labels and laser labels now for all carriers. Once we do that, the screen refreshes and we're ready to move on to the next GP transaction. We're going to minimize Starship now and then take a look back in GP at that transaction we just processed for the write back, which you have control over with some customization that you can do. We'll make entries to the GP order header notes. It gives you some standard text out of the box that you can modify the content and the uh, label description for each field here. It'll tell you when it's going to get there, how it's going to get there, the number of pieces and weight, all the tracking information. You also have that item level detail available in the notes now as well. We can also update the batch ID, which enables you to group sales transactions if you want to transfer this entire batch to invoice. I've created a ship batch here, which tags the order as being shipped. We know it has the tracking information and freight, so we can go ahead and turn that into an invoice. The freight field will be updated here. And that can be done on a one-to-one uh, -one basis with customers or order logic. You can create freight rules to turn that on or off. You also have the ability to put all of your tracking numbers into the tracking number table. So you'll have one per box. If it's, a, if it's a freight shipment, you'll also have the bill of lading number or pro number available here for tracking purposes. All right, that is shipping with Dynamics GP.